During this pandemic and for the safety of the student body, UST has announced through their official Twitter account that the university will be delivering classes through an enriched virtual mode for the first term of the academic year 2020 to 2021. I found this as a great opportunity to share my experiences on how UST delivers their online classes and give an overview of what happens during these classes. I know that I've been posting the LSU contents on my channel lately, but actually I'm a Tomasian student now. I had my senior high years in the LSU but have moved to UST for my pre-med. I'm currently studying medical technology under the Faculty of Pharmacy so I can't speak for other departments in their online classes. But today I'll be showing you how Faculty of Pharmacy conducts their online classes. Blackboard phone version The main app that you'll need for UST's online classes is Blackboard. This app will be your best friend throughout the school year and everything that you'll be needing will be on this app. I'm just going to insert a quick run through of how to use Blackboard because I had a hard time navigating this when I first started using the app and I don't want any of you to experience that too. You'll need a working USD email to sign in. This is the activity stream where you can find announcements, assignments, tasks, grades, and new files uploaded by the profs. Click on the side menu and then click courses to view the available courses. Those that are on private mean that the course is still closed and is not available for you. Once the course is open for viewing, click Course Content to view the files uploaded by your prof. Click Content. Find the file that you're looking for and download. Open using your preferred app. Blackboard website version. Type Blackboard USD on the search bar. Click the first link. Sign in. It's actually easier to use Blackboard on desktop because you can see everything all at once. Just follow the same instructions as before. In my experience, profs usually give PowerPoints for you to study by yourselves. But some schedule live lessons through the president or upload pre-recorded lessons like this. The lecture will tackle Chapter 56, An Introduction to Toxicology, Occupational and Environmental. A lake. Now, inside that lake are, of course, organisms such How to attend online classes. Select the course with the scheduled online class. From the side menu, select Tools and click Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. This is where you'll see the available rooms to enter for the online class. Make sure that you're entering the right room or else you'll miss the online class. I usually go to class 1-3 to three minutes late to make sure that there aren't other rooms made by the prof. Click the room and join the course room. It may take a while to load so make sure that you have a stable Wi-Fi connection. Our profs usually start 5 to 15 minutes after the scheduled online class time to wait for the other students having trouble connecting. Once you see this message, you're good to go. Since there are no classes right now, I'm the only one here. If there were classes, you'll see your classmates' profile pictures on the screen. If you have any questions for the prof, press this during class. This one is for the video cam, and this is for the mic. You can react to what the prof says too.
but no one really uses this feature. This purple side menu is where you'll get to chat with everyone including the prof. Note that everyone can see what you sent, so be mindful of what you say. This is where you'll see everyone in the room with you. If the prof's name isn't there, leave the room to check for other rooms or wait for the prof to join the class. To leave the room, click the three lines on the upper left of the screen. Then leave session. You can answer the survey or just skip this. At the end of the session, the prof will tell your class that the session is already done and that you're free to go. How do online exams work? Quizzes can be announced via the class president through chat, USD email, or prior notice by the prof during their online lecture. As mentioned earlier, quizzes and tasks are displayed in the activity stream. So when there's a new assessment posted, you can find it here. If the scheduled assessment doesn't show up, just reload the page or go to the course with the scheduled assessment. You'll find it on the lower left of the side menu. This will appear. Then you have to click the quiz link again. Once you click the link, it will show the conditions set for the exam. As you can see, this is a timed test and it allows multiple attempts. Not all profs open multiple attempts for exams, so read this section carefully. Once you click begin, the timer will start running. This is an example of an exam that doesn't allow backtracking. This means that once you click for the next question, you can't go back and change your answers anymore. Here's another type of exam wherein all of the items are displayed in one page. Unlike the former type, this allows backtracking and the changing of answers. In the recent meeting with the class officers of the Faculty of Pharmacy, it was confirmed that the online exam questions will be shown all at once, which means backtracking is allowed and you can check all your answers. Once you've taken the assessment, you can view your grade directly after the test as well as the items you got correctly, but that also depends on the settings made by the prof. Some quizzes don't automatically submit when the timer is up, so always make sure to leave one minute before the timer ends to submit the exam, or else your quiz will be marked zero by Blackboard. I'm going to end this video with a few tips for online exams. First, always check your email or Blackboard for announcements. Second, set up your laptop earlier than the scheduled exam to avoid any technical or connection difficulties. Third, make sure that your connection is stable. I know that not everyone has a stable Wi-Fi connection, but it's better to check your connection before the exam so that you'll be able to notify the prof or your class president that you wouldn't be able to take the exam. Fourth, read the instructions carefully so that you're aware of the exam conditions and can prevent yourself from receiving a zero mark. Fifth, do not open unnecessary apps because this may slow your device down and will cause you to lose more time. And lastly, submit the exam before the timer ends. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I hope this video helps some of you to grasp how UST conducts their online classes. Leave a comment down below, like, and subscribe to my channel for more content.